What's going on you guys? Keep me on a camera here and today is Friday. And Bridget's outside, so you don't have to worry about her interrupting the intro. First things first, earlier today an interview came out that I did for a website called Lighthouse Magazine, Empty Lighthouse Magazine. Uh Basically, they wanted to ask me some questions about the videos and dad and how we got started and all that stuff. And so I did the interview. Check the link. It's below. One of the questions that the interview asked that everybody seems to be asking me on Twitter today uh, is for me to go into detail about turning down True TV. Yes, it's true. I did turn down True TV uh, a couple of years ago. More than a couple of years ago. This was back when I lived at the trailer. Uh, I was I had, I had received an email from True TV. Uh, I was told to call an executive. She was it was a female, and I talked to her uh, outside, and she started talking to me about if I would be interested in a reality show with Dad. At the time, I said yes. I was very interested. I was listening to everything she had to say, and as the conversation progressed, it became apparent to me that she wanted the videos to be fake. That was number one. She was saying, oh, we can script some situations where this happens and this happens. Well, the videos are real, so I would not be able to have fulfilled. I'm pretty aware that fulfill is not a word. So I would not have been able to fulfill the obligations needed for that TV show. So I went ahead and pulled the plug. As time went on, uh, other shows would come to me, other networks would talk to me, and you know, in those talks, it became apparent to me again uh, that doing a reality show would mean the end of our YouTube channel. So I cut off conversations right there because we're not going to get rid of the YouTube channel just because we can be on TV. The YouTube channel came first. We're not sellouts. We are not going to be getting rid of, you know, what got us to getting a show in the first place to be on a show. So all of that is covered in the interview. If you want to read the interview, check out the link below. Hope you guys like it. So anyway, I'm about to start my Friday at 11.11. Oh, nice time. It is really late right now. Uh, we've been super busy all day wrapping presents and getting the house ready for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm having a Christmas party. One of the things that I'm going to do right here is take some of these presents and put them under the damn tree. It's about time that it starts to look like Christmas in this piece. So, we just got done taking all the presents and putting them under the tree. And here we go. This is what it looks like. I think we went overboard. Oh man. This is crazy, Bridget. I know. Did we go too crazy? Well, this is for tomorrow night. My nephews and grandpa's gonna be here and mom and just gonna be a good old time. Is there another one? Your gift. Oh Lord. Is that some me? Is that me? Yep. So Bridget, I noticed this is my only gift. Yep. Kind of small and light to be a PS4. Sorry. I didn't get a PS4? <laughs> no. I'm going through every damn present to see if there's one in here. Which present am I going to rip into first? Oh, What do you think, Lazy? Of course, we will still be celebrating Christmas on the 25th with Grandpa. Uh, this is just so my nephews can have Christmas with us, being that they live with their mom. And, you know, we don't, you know, probably not going to see each other on Christmas. They're going to have their own Christmas. So, you know, we're going to do it tomorrow, the 20th, just so we can all have a Christmas together. And this actually be the first Christmas with all of us together, mom and dad, and, you know, in a long time. That's going to be interesting. Dad still doesn't know Mom's coming. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be good. To I'm going to try to get Dad's reaction uh, walking in and seeing Mom. That's my goal. So, of course, Bridget, we need to guard the TV. Oh, my God. Because he's going to try to pull some shit. I will not have my TV broken. Uh, even if I have to take it out of the living room myself. So the other day, this company reached out to me, and they offered to send me this new little handheld uh, open source gaming console uh, because they felt bad for me because Grandpa destroyed uh, the PS4. And this is it. I just got it in today. Uh, we're going to check this out. This is the GC... The, what is this? GCW Zero. So here we go. We're going to check this thing out. 
So here we go. The, you know, it has all the, you know, you can get the emulators. Uh, looks like Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, Sega. All kinds of emulators that you can download for this. And, of course, you can download the games for it. Uh, these are some of the games that are already on it. So if anybody watching this knows how to use these, uh, the GCW Zero, uh, and you know how to use the emulators, send me a link. Send me a link. Uh, tell me what to do because I'd like to learn how to play some of the emulators like Mario and get Zelda on it. But it's open source gaming. This thing is awesome. If you want to check out the website, the link is below so you can see what they are, what it's like. But as I can see, it's pretty awesome. He also sent me uh, a tablet from MJ Technology. I have not checked this out yet, so. This will be a bit of an unboxing. So there's all the stuff for it. Let's check this out. So here I am checking out this tablet. I also have it plugged into the wall right here, so it's going to be kind of hard to maneuver around this thing, but I'm just checking it out. Charging is at 0% right now. Wow, this is pretty neat, dude. This is awesome. You done, huh, Felix? Like, I'm done for today. You shouldn't name no Garfield, dude. Well, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Uh, not a very long vlog. Like I said, it started at 11 o'clock. Had a lot of stuff for the party being prepared for. Got our presents down. Uh, checked out the new GCW uh, Zero that got sent to me. Uh, the MJ Technology tablet. That stuff is awesome. I appreciate you guys sending it to me. Uh, like I said, if you want to check out the interview I did earlier, the link is below. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it. I do. I'm looking for Tammy Camel. Is there a Tammy Camel there? Oh my God! Oh, I'm the U.S. postman, and you wore the you wore the shirt. Yes, I did. Well, I brought it myself. Oh my God!